What's up, free agents? This is James from Now Free Project. Remember to subscribe, share, and like this video. Now, I want to talk to you about a movie that I just came from. I just came from a screening of a brand new movie. It's the movie uh, called Daddy's Home. It was Daddy's Home 2. I had some free passes. I went to the screening. And uh, so let me just give you uh, my little rundown of this movie really quickly. And this is so typical of Hollywood. And so, again, as always, and, and I will say there were some funny parts to the movie, but I just wanted to give you a heads up for the believers that may want to go see this nice, fun-filled family movie because they like to uh, push it as a fun family movie for the holidays. But just know, for all you believers out there, should you go and support this film, just know that this movie is filled with uh, references. Well, it's not, I'm going to say filled with references, but... It does have some uh, some language there that for kids 12 and under, I would not suggest that you allow your kids to hear that and or uh, uh, hear see that or what have you. And then there are, well, I think the slick thing that they tried to do in this movie, here's a cap up for me. You know, the language wasn't all that bad. They didn't do the F-bomb. They just made some, you know, some, uh, uh, I guess you could say sort of... Um, the languages are pretty rough, I guess, for, for young ears. And even for myself, I was like, eh, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to hear that. And it could have been left out. It could have been left out of the writing, if you ask me. So anyway, um, but yeah, so the things, the things that was a little, or that was a little over the top is that they kept showing the men kiss each other. Now, in the state of, uh, excuse me, in the relationship of father and son relationship, they kept showing the father and the son. Uh, which was played by John Lithgow and uh, Will Ferrell. They kept kissing each other, and they would kiss each other on the lips. You know, very lovey-dovey and all that kind of stuff, and that's what was cracking me up. Uh, well, excuse me, it wasn't cracking me up. Um, I mean, literally, the people... Uh, now, the majority of the audience was uh, African-American at this particular time because the, the group of tickets were given out by a... Uh, I think it was a black entertainment... Um, uh, a radio station because uh, I think the main radio station here in Atlanta was there yeah and they got some little prizes and all that so I believe they gave out the tickets so it was mostly black black people so what you realize or what you recognize is that uh, every time that they kissed and this and that most of the people they really didn't laugh they were more like ugh you know the, the, uh, so as you know, uh, with the uh, whole homosexual stuff and the gay agenda stuff, we as African Americans, you know, we're not necessarily really with it. You know, I think we tolerate it, but uh, for the, I think for the average black community, is that we will tolerate it, but we're not really with it. You know, we know that it exists, but it's like we're like, oh. So when they kept showing them kiss on the lips, you know, most people were like, oh, you know, it, it just didn't, it just didn't gel with most people. Because most people like, and especially the lady that was beside me, she was like, ew, that's nasty. You know, it was just too much. And for the amount of time they showed it, it was just too much. So near the end of the movie, and I'm sorry, uh, uh, Mark Wahlberg and, and Mel Gibson, now they were supposed to be the quote-unquote tough guy, the tough father and son who had a, you know, a sort of a tumultuous relationship. You know, daddy wasn't there, this and that, and so forth and so forth. And so near the end of the movie, and this is a spoiler, you may not want to listen to this part, but uh, they kissed as well, and they because they were it was a really you know uh, they were leaving they were parting ways they would get on their flights and then uh, they ended up giving each other a kiss on the lips, and so it was like okay, and everybody was like ugh because it was just too much to see Mark Wahlberg, you know a very rough and tough guy, and, and Mel Gibson both of them played these rough and tough uh, uh, um, uh, characters in the movie. That to see them, you know, kiss each other on the lips. You know, it wasn't just a hug and maybe a peck on the cheek, but no, it was a, it was a clear, cold kiss on the lips. And then, also, there was one scene in there which was fun, which, which they tried to make light of, is that one of, the, uh, one of the kids in there, a young boy, he, there was a girl in the movie that he liked, and the girl that he ended up liking was actually his, his stepsister. And that's that's who he ended up having feelings for, and so it's almost making light of incest, if you ask me. Because in my mind, I'm thinking that's not y'all didn't have to add that into the movie, because they they let they let they lead you to believe that he liked the other girl uh, that was friends of his uh, stepsister. But when he goes and sees the girl up under the mistletoe, and Grandpa said, "Go kiss her, go kiss her," 
they thought it was the girl who was a friend, but it was actually his stepsister. <coughs> and so, you know, most as most people in the audience are like, oh, you know, it was because in your mind, you you know that that is his sister, be it stepsister or not. That's who he's being raised as his sister. So it just did not come across right. And so it's almost like hinting to incest in a sense, you know. And then also, when he, after he did that. Then there was a line of girls, little girls that wanted to kiss him under the mistletoe. It was like a, I guess, eight or nine year old little boy. And so all these little girls were lining up under the mistletoe to kiss him. And then they showed one little boy lean out of the line to kiss him as well. And so, you know, almost trying to make light of it. I mean, a little kid and these two little boys kissing. And this is supposed to be a family film. So it's not really funny. It's not funny at all, really. But these are the sort of ways that, that Hollywood likes to get you used to the whole idea of homosexuality, get you used to the idea of incest, you know, and, and things, perversions, that's what it is, that's all it is, you know, so, oh gosh, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, at any rate, yeah, you know, were, were there some funny scenes in the movie? Absolutely, but were there some things in there that they could have left out and really kept it wholesome and clean and that the movie could have done without and would have did well without? Uh, those scenes, you know, the, the, all that over, overt two men kissing and then uh, the references to uh, incest and the uh, references to homosexuality uh, for between little kids. You know, it was just too much. It, it didn't, the movie didn't need all of that. You had one scene, scene of the father son kissing on the lips. Okay, uh, I'll even give you a little bit of that. But when you did it over and over and over, it was, it was just a little bit too much. All right, this is James from Non-Free Project. Remember my free agents. Share this video, like, uh, and subscribe. Love you guys. Take care. Remember, Jesus Christ is Lord in Hollywood. Shame on you. Y'all know better than that. Peace.